All right, hello, fellow coder. Welcome back to this next a lesson in our Fresh Vote series. Uh, in this one, here we go. Cross our um, fingers that this code will work properly. Um, let me just change this to example example comment. Uh, what it, we want to do here is take uh, this uh, essentially uh, what's the word recursive code that we've written here uh, in terms of time leaf and and using fragments to recursively insert. Uh, fragments based on you know the model data that we get that we pass in so the model data that we need to start with is thread.comments uh, so thread essentially needs to be the uh, model object it needs to be the uh, the key it needs to be called thread and the value should be comments so essentially we are more or less doing that already here we're just calling it comments right so instead of calling it comments we're gonna call it thread because that's going to match up with uh, thread here, okay? Because thread dot comments will be appropriate because it will have, um, it's going to have a set. It, thread is going to be a set of comments, comments objects, um, and within comment there is a uh, variable called comments, which is exactly the recursive situation that we want to be in, right? That's the recursion uh, that we're playing with. So, cool. Um, I like it. So now we just need to inject this fragment into our feature. Uh, and I forgot how to do that. I think we do that with uh, here, with the header as an example. This is how we inject the header fragment. So we can do the same thing for the comment fragment, which will be down here. We're going to take the existing comments code, delete it completely, and replace it with fragments slash comment. And it's going to be called, shoot, what is it called? Headers th fragment. th fragment is called comment thread. So comment thread. Okay. And again, cross our fingers here that, that this is just going to work. Um, so it won't appear as nice now that I think about it because of the, the, um, which we call it spacing is going to be off a bit, but um, basically, if we see comment fourteen and we don't see any duplicates, it should be a good indication that this is working properly. Um, so again, we probably won't see the nesting happening in terms of like the the th the th not the thread the uh, left margin um, because I didn't bake that into my code. But let's see. Oh, five hundred error. Okay, let's see what the five hundred error is. Hopefully, this is something easy to fix. Property or field comments cannot be found on object of type persistent sorted set. Property or field comments. So, and do they give me an example, uh, a hint as to where, I mean, I'm assuming this is in our, our uh, whatchamacallit code. Yeah, it's not. It might show me somewhere in this long bunch of code where it's coming from, but I'm going to assume it's from comment.html because we're doing thread.comments. Hmm. Comment.txt, thread, blah, comment thread, comment.html. Um. <laughs> so thread dot comments feature controller returns thread which has a set of comments so thread dot what Hmm. Because how do we, we use this before with comments. Okay, I wonder how this is stored. Like, I'm, I'm, tr I'm trying to think, maybe this is a valid error. Well, obviously it's a valid error because it says property field comments cannot be found on the object uh, of type persistent sorted set. So it is a sorted set, and we're trying to find a comment on a sorted set, but it doesn't work like that. 
So it's almost like... Um... Oh man, my brain is not working right now. Uh, so what does thread point to? When I say thread, it is going to be a set, right? And a set doesn't have a dot comments property, uh, right? There, in, in terms of a set, you can't say set dot get comments. It doesn't make sense, right? You can't do that. Um, I almost want to say just thread, right? Because thread is the set, which you can then iterate through. And then thread equals comment. But then that won't work, right? Because then you, you have, if, a th if thread is equal to, is equivalent to comment, you then try to take a comment and iterate through it. It won't work like that. Um, so that's why it specifically is structured like this, where you can say thread.comments, because then you're, um, oh, well, hold on. What if I do this? Thread, and they then say comment.comments, right? Thread equals comment.comments, and then that way it's a list again, or a set again. That might work. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, is that good? I think... I think that's good, right? 13 a little bit, and 12 and 14. I said if we could see 14, we do. And and I lied. Clearly it is getting the nested um holy crap. It worked. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, cool. I thought that was going to be really really difficult and yeah, thankfully Google has a solution for this already. So, okay. Uh, yeah, the reason why it's nesting properly is because of the fact that we are using uh, an unordered list and then having list uh, items. Um, you, uh, by default, that is going to, like the CSS properties of that will, yeah, it, it'll work. That, that's why we see that. However, we do see these annoying little like different, um, you know, whatchamacallits, uh, icons for it, so that's not desirable. Um, but that's okay, we could totally fix that because we just take away the context of a U of an unordered list, right? And then instead of having a, a list item here, uh, it's just a div, probably, right? And okay, so we could take it back here and the div um, can have a style equals margin left 1m. Uh, and if we do that, it should nest it accordingly. There you go. Sweet. Oh, okay. Fantastic. So problem solved. Love it. So now what we need to do in the next video is uh, make this a bit prettier, right? But also add in functionality for um, leaving comments appropriately. So right now, you know, leave a comment below, there's a big box, but then you, you type stuff into it, but you know, there's no save button for the comment. Um, and plus, I don't know if should this be above or below all the existing comments? I forget how that works. Um, do you just do com do comment boxes to leave a new comment appear before all the other ones? I can't, I'd have to look at examples of how that works. Um, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe not. I guess I could go to any old any old blog, right? I mean, if I go to my own blog, if I go to like, you know, coderscampus.campus.com, oops, slash blog, I would say, and go to like, you know, one of the, let me go to like start here. Is that a valid thing? Yeah, and if I go down to the bottom, yeah, so how does this work? All the comments, so 75 comments, so you can see how these work, right? You have the person's name, you have the date that the comment appeared, you have the profile picture and then the comment below. You know, that's the kind of thing that we're looking for. Um, and then leaving a new comment, I don't see an ability to leave a new comment. Do I have my comments turned off? <laughs> I, I don't think so. Uh, at least I didn't think so. Um, maybe I do. Let me go to how to program with java.com and see if that's a different experience. Um,
comments on this entry are closed. Did I do that on purpose? I, d I don't. I didn't think so. But anyway, I think um, for in terms of blogs, I think you can leave a comment here, and then there, these are all the, the other comments um, from it. And and I believe there's usually a, a way to click on uh, reply to you know reply to an existing comment inside of a thread of comments. So yeah, I think I'll leave this here and then we'll have a save button below it and we'll have a, a line break and then we'll have all the comments below and we'll format these comments uh, in, in such a way that, um, yeah, we have like a little, kept in the person's name and then the, uh, like I said, the date, all that stuff, right? So we'll pretty this up. We will have a way to leave a comment here and then we'll have a way to click on reply to an existing comment um, and do something or other, so. Wow, I'm really quite pleased with that. I'm I'm very, I'm very happy with that. That's so cool. Uh, cool. So now the only other tiny little thing I want to do is I want to um, have some style with margin bottom here of like, let's say three M's, just because right now you see it, scrolling all the way to the bottom and and the test comment eight is at the very very bottom. I would like to have some blank margin. Um, Oh, that didn't work. Uh, style margin bottom on this div. Yeah, so let's do margin top and margin bottom 3Ms. There we go. So now when I scroll down, there's just a little bit extra white space. Cool. That's my only nitpick. All right, cool. So very, very excited that worked. I'm so glad that we figured that out, or rather that there was someone else who figured it out and we were able to copy their uh, their code. So thank the Lord for uh, Google, you know, all hail our overlords there. So cool. Take care of yourself. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. Happy learning and bye for now.